Well, hello guys, what is up, it's me Rahul here, bring you guys another episode here with the Minnesota North Stars, um, you guys, um, wow, as you see right here, um, yeah, you can possibly tell how I'm feeling about this Minnesota North Stars franchise, we just made it to the playoffs last season, and I felt like it was the right choice to trade uh, Claude Giroux and Jake DeBrusque because I wanted to get some top-level picks. And that's exactly what we did. Um, we drafted some guys. We did draft an X-Factor and some low-level elite guys um, because... I wanted to have this draft class high, very good. We have Jake DeBrusk and the boys. We have some Burnaby Aces, Matthew Joseph. And I have to consider the future of this series. Yes, there's going to be a lot of cuts and everything. Because I was doing a lot of scouting for the up-and-coming draft. Um, excuse me. And I was also considering, um, I was having conversations with the coach of this team, and I was the general manager, um, which I could have got fired for, but that would actually led into a different direction of this series. I, I don't know what that would have been, but I'm going to say there might be five seasons, um, if you see right here, we didn't win the Stanley Cup in our very first season. Especially not our second season. Definitely because I decimated the roster by two stars. Um, <sighs> this season really... I really started to think like, is this how I'm going to do my channel? Like... After I recorded and everything, you guys know I try to be not as one-sided as possible with this kind of stuff. Um, I've never done, like, rebuilds and those things. I am not that kind of person. The fact that you're, if you're watching this, you're going to watch the... Next, last episode, as already happened, this episode would happen, and I will plan on draw uh, the next after this, depending on when it is. It's going to be the uh, um, it's going to be the New Jersey uh the Be a Pro series, the long way to Be a Pro series, and that actually will be season one of the NHL. Not season one of the of the CHO. Bear that in mind. Where I'm going to play as the New Jersey Devils. With the New Jersey Devils in one video. Um, throughout this video, I've actually claimed guys off waivers to like fill the holes of the AHO. And I've realized that I, I tried... To be 100% honest, I have tried to build up, like, I even got Corey Perry. Yeah, I got Corey Perry. And, I understand, like, Corey Perry was is a great addition, to be honest. And, if you look at our losing record, it's like showing, we have a shootout loss... An overtime loss and everything in between and it makes me very angry how when you play whatever like like whatever difficulty you're on you can somehow have a close game but in this simulation you can alter it and you can have like certain sliders and everything like human versus CPU what the heck is that supposed to mean like look an Iowa wild guy was on waivers and I claimed him for my Burnaby Acers, not my Minnesota North Stars. And even heck, they got the ability to 
edit the AHL teams, which actually makes me pissed off. I do, and I'll say this, I have a Boston Bruins franchise, but I don't know if I'm ready to start that, like, start a series over that. Because of the stupidness I, I feel having. The Minnesota North Stars will always be uh, a full season. I may be doing more of these, but I'm going to say this. If I'm ever going to do another Minnesota North Stars, which I have already recorded, by the way, so three se season three has already been recorded. If I'm going to do season four, like... What this episode you're watching is season two. Season three has to be recorded and edited. Season four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know. And by the way, I'm gonna say this. I actually tried to trade for trap picks in this situation. Why didn't it happen? Oh wait. Because of my salary cap. And I literally tried to trade dudes for draft picks. So, this part, and like, if you saw previous in the video, you saw that I did edit Well, the trade deadline, I'm going to fully be uncut, raw, edited. Uh, like, raw, edit, not edited, everything. So, basically, I went to teams. <sighs> See, my, like, my draft picks happen. So, basically, I went to teams, and as you see by the salary cap, I'm going to be under the salary cap, which the NHL apparently doesn't allow. So, basically, I, um, went for these draft picks, and th as you're currently seeing, this is the amount of draft picks I have, I don't show the draft because I feel like that's that would be something different of a different type of series that I am willing to do, but not not at this instance. So I looked at this trade. Um. Um. I always look at the stats and everything in between. This guy is from Switzerland. Nationality Switzerland. Uh, um, this guy, actually, his best season was with the New Jersey Devils. But his plus minus was one. So, I gave him, well, I always check his stats. He's a top six. Medium defenseman. And one of the guys will be called up. And we traded our fifth round pick for the Minnesota Wilds third round pick. Which actually isn't bad. So now we have two third rounders. One fourth, no fifth, one sixth, one seventh. Then I look at other teams to see what draft picks would they be willing to give up. Now, the key here, what, okay, well, that, that, uh, you see, it's like, I've never, <laughs> um, back in the NHL 19, I've never really done this stuff before, so, and I've never had because <laughs> it wasn't in the game, so. I did the third round and the fourth round picks, but that wasn't a thing. Basically, what this does, it's like similar to NBA 2K, where... I'll explain this, where you add an asset, and they base the computer basically tries to f find a trade for it, basically. I kind of like this kind of system, but... Eh... I also wanted to trade the Arizona Coyotes first round pick. But I would have had to get rid of Gerard. 
who's a top four defenseman, and he w meshes well with our our players. And um, I really did not want to get rid of this dude because he came from Colorado, and his points kind of dipped, but his goals went up, and he was going to have a great season no matter what happened, and I was like, I didn't want to, but I tried giving different, and they were being really, really stupid with this, like, heck, I even tried to give up my first round pick, and they were roasting me. And I even tried, I, yeah, I even, like, <sighs> this is ridiculous. I even, <sighs> like, um, uh, like, wanted to get rid of guys. <laughs> I was looking for any way to get rid of someone. Like, you gotta understand, like, I like this, but I've never done anything like this, and it's insane, so, <laughs> yep, I even added a third round pick, and thought this would work, and... And I tried the second and third round. I was like, you know what? I'm done with Arizona. I'm going to work on something else. Um, it's like, yeah, I, I hate it. Also, as you see, I drafted Vikingstad and Ternaski. Those guys are like good guys of elite lows. Um... Vikingstad was a gem out of uh, the previous uh, draft, um, the 2023 NHL entry draft. Um, he was a, yeah, um, he was a good prospect. Um, now, I would want to, to try. I'm not usually this low. Gratchev, I traded to the Arizona Coyotes for a fourth rounder. I was like, okay, fair enough. Um, now, Ekstrom, um, because we need good defensive guys, and my always main focus is, is like, I've always wanted to find talent in the later rounds, um, like, kind of low, because that should, you know, be my focus, right? Uh, getting gems and stuff like that. And I understand that sounds ridiculous, but, you know, that happens. And look right here. Um, they want, like, Jones. Um, let's... See, yeah, look at that. Zach Jones, top six defenseman. Drafted by the New York Rangers. I look at his stats specifically. Um, he's one of those waiver guys. We sent our fifth round pick, uh, I think, fifth round pick to Dallas. And, yeah, it, it works out really well. Next up, I go to the Detroit Red Wings. Um, they have way too many elites, <laughs> and they don't have many draft picks, um, and, and I look, and I tried to look into this, but a deal was struck, and I, <laughs> this happened, like, really? <laughs> and... I tried it again, um, and I understand, like, getting, getting draft picks is, like, kind of, like, weird, like, 
Why are you getting, like, trying to steal trap picks? And I was like, uh, I'm like, I need some. And I tried to edit, which I tried to do, but Philadelphia comes in. I'm like, I can't get rid of two, oh, two second rounders. And this happens, like... Then I go into find trade, which is the correct thing to do, and I go to the Nashville Predators, where, uh, uh, yeah, and I try to get a second rounder, and nothing was there. Then I tried to get a third rounder. Nothing was there. I even, I even tried a fourth rounder. Nothing was there. Tried a seventh rounder, and oh my god, uh, that, that even that didn't even make any sense. Um, I went to New Jersey Devils. Might be a pro guy. I got the Ottawa Senators guy. And they wanted me to get rid of six and a waiver guy. I did that. It worked. Um, then I went over to the Ottawa Senators. Um, they had way too many fourth round picks. I was like, let me package a fifth and a sixth round together. I had to trade back the third round pick that they originally owned. And one of my goalies. <laughs> and yeah, that that's what happened. <laughs> so then I go back to Pittsburgh. Well, I go to Philadelphia. And I wanted a sixth round pick. And also a seventh. I had to get rid of a fourth rounder and yet a goalie. Like, what? <laughs> like, next up, we go to the St. Louis Blues. Yet, uh, <sighs> yep. And the trade deadline starts at 12 a. Like, supposedly you go into this and it adds at 12 p.m. Like, are you kidding me? And, um. I don't know what picks we have. So we have three second round picks, two th third round picks, one fifth round pick, and three third round pick, uh, six round picks. I feel like that's really good. And I was like, let's exit out of the trade block, because I'm like, are you serious? Um, um, yeah. For some reason, it's like, so weird, so insane. And... I decided to sim to the end of the season, um, um, because there's no use, um, that's all I'll say, um, I always edit the ticket prices because they cost way too much, and I've always sort of, like, bad things about it, so, yeah, and we also finish um, the season um, with a winning record. It isn't impressive by any means, but we did finish with a winning record, per se. Um, which is good, because that's what I would have wanted. We actually won against the Avalanche, which is pretty good, because considering... I've never thought that would happen, and, um, that's what I liked, um, 
that was really good to say the least um so um we're in march um we're doing the best we can there is no pot there was i think there was a possibility for a playoff push but that would have had to be me being involved and yeah uh i didn't want to do that but we were on the up and up but we didn't do it so i guess i have to say this um anyways guys thank you all so much for watching um you all are legends of my book um as well as for me i will see you all in the next one um take it easy and peace